Hello and welcome to another episode of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me, Craig Barton. Now, over the years that I've been doing these Resource of the Week, I often like to flag up resources that help students develop fluency when it comes to times tables. Because, as I think we all know, times tables are just the core, the foundation of so much mathematics. And if students are fluent in their times tables, if they can recall facts like 6 times 7 equals 42 without having to think too much about it, it just makes so many other topics in mathematics that much more accessible from simplifying fractions, solving equations, negative numbers, you name it. This resource, however, is something a bit different. It's almost the next level up. It's called Times Table Mastery Check. And I know sometimes you hear mastery and alarm bells start flying and ringing in your ear. But this, this is a wonderful, wonderful resource. So you'll see here that there are oh, look at it, 34 files included and um, covering all the main times tables. I think it starts at your three times table. Um, and it goes up to your uh, 12 times tables. And each times table has three main resource sheets with it. So I'm just gonna show you, I've downloaded, you can download these um, all in one go by clicking that download button. Love that feature from Tez. Um, but I've downloaded the four times table just to show you here. So um, I'll show you the uh, three versions of the sheets. And what they are, it's taking that fluency that kids have got in the times table, but now can they apply it? So look at this, four times table. So David says, Ben, uh, David says, because four is even, all multiples of four will be even. Is David correct? Explain your reasoning. So now it's the kids, have, they know the times table off by heart. All multiples of four are even. Okay, now why would that be the case? Kids have to retrieve from their memory all the multiples of four going through the times table. Now can they justify why they're, why they're even? Then we've got fill in the gaps below. Um, fairly straightforward activity. Now Sarah's chipping in. I know me four times table so I can work out four times 90 without using a written method. Why can Sarah do this? Then again, some uh, testing of factual knowledge, fill in the gaps below. Notice we flipped it around. Now we're doing divisions using the four times table. Creating word problems, filling in different gaps, and um, application problems, pizzas are involved, cars got tires, number sentences, um, all the number facts that you can. And then it carries on, then you've got a second sheet. Now, I think that this is um, a, a step up. I'm, I've couldn't get that from the description, but the way I see it, that having looked at these three, this tend to get a little bit harder. So now David's chipping in again. He loves to get involved here. Four times table is linked to the two times table. Explain why the two are linked together. We've got more gaps. We've got uh, calculations interlinked. We've got, again, uh, recalling knowledge of multiplication. And then we've got trickier divisions coming into play. Word problems. Then we've got decimals. Love that. Now Anna's involved um, wanting to use something without a written method and so on and so forth. And then we have our final one. Just goes a little bit more difficult. Sarah's involved again. Now we've got uh, gaps which are involving multiples of 40 this time. DVDs, factual knowledge and so on. So you can see there we've got real wide application and coverage of the four times table. So how can we use this? Well, a couple of points I want to make first. The first is that this is ideal to use in lessons, in particular the start of the year. However, my fear always is with these resources, and particularly the resources of the week, you find something good, you absolutely hammer it to death for a while, I've been there myself, and then it kind of gets put on the back burner. Whereas something like this, developing students' flexibility with times tables, is something that kids need regular exposure to. This needs to become a regular part of your weekly routine. Maybe you use this every Wednesday, maybe it's Monday and Friday, something like that, but this needs to be regular. That's the first point. Second point, if kids aren't fluent in their times table, this could be a bit of a disaster. Because I've, I've been getting a bit obsessed with how kids think and how working memory works and so on. And if kids are having to think too much, for let's take this one here, Sarah knows I can count on my fours, I can use this to solve 70 times four. If kids are having to think, all right, okay, 70 times four. Now, what is seven times four? Hmm, and then they're having to count up seven times four. If they don't know that seven times four fluently, they don't have enough cognitive capacity spare to then think, all right, now what's 70 times four? And crucially to learn from that experience. So these sheets aren't designed to help kids learn their times tables. They're there to help kids take it to the next level, to develop flexibility with their use of times tables. So concentrate on getting the kids fluent in their times table so they can recall the facts like that and then introduce these. And the third point I want to make is one about interleaving. 
once the kids have used and um, gone through these sheets and it'll take a while because it's flipping loads of them it's a perfect opportunity to interleave because it's all well and good students being able to do some blocked mass practice of the four times table but a real test is then, can they do a question on the four times table, then a question on the seven, then a question on the six, then a question on the 12 times table, and so on? Well, it's, it's quite easy to check that with this because you can just chop these sheets up. So let's take question one from the four times table, question two from the seven times table sheet, and so on, and create like a master sheet. And if you can give that to your kids once a week and they can start doing that, then not only have they got factual recall and um, fluency when it comes to times tables they've then got flexibility of all the uh, working with all the different times table and that's when you start to really reap the benefits so i think this is an absolutely wonderful resource but it, as i say it just needs to be used carefully and sensibly but i think it's absolutely fantastic so there it is times table mastery check if you enjoyed this resource hop back onto the resource page you leave a review um uh, as i say for me it's got to be five stars i absolutely love this one and i will see you for a fresh resource of the week next week take care of yourselves Bye for now.